Here are six amazing open source Android apps that I use every single day. You're probably aware of F-Droid, right? The catalogue of free and open source apps. But did you know that this isn't the best way to browse F-Droid? Enter Droidify. Now there are tons of these alternative front ends for F-Droid, but this one is by far my favourite. Now it doesn't really change the functionality of F-Droid, you can still search for your favourite open source apps, but now it doesn't look like an unfinished project from 2009. So browse in style and use Droidify. This is a fantastic voice typing tool. And the best thing about it is all that processing is done offline. Nothing phones home, no big companies have got your voice memos from a decade ago stored in their servers for some reason. Futo Voice Input even does a really good job at punctuation, capitalization, and all that contextual stuff. I wish I understood more of how all this stuff works, but I am so glad that it does. It might be a bit slower than Google's implementation, but this is a genuinely great use for neural networks and machine learning models. So, if you prefer to use voice typing, or if you're just trying to move away from a Google-centric existence, then this is an app for you. Futo have a lot of other really good projects going at the moment, one of which is GreyJ, a universal video streaming app for consolidating all the video creator apps into one singular experience. I've tested it, and it is really good, but personally I don't really need something as complex as that, because I only really use YouTube. So for my needs, the app that serves me best is called Tubula. You may have heard of Newpipe, but if you haven't, it's an alternative YouTube front-end, so you can watch without ads and without tracking and everything that comes with that. Tubula is a fork of Newpipe, which also incorporates sponsor block and return YouTube dislike and a bunch of other stuff as well. All this means I get an ad-free experience, even if that ad is read as part of the video. It also allows me to download videos so I can watch them offline wherever I want, which is more than even YouTube Premium allows you to do. You also have a very customizable experience. You don't want to see recommended videos in the sidebar? Gone. You don't like seeing comments? Gone. You don't like the garbage trending tab? Gone. Now I won't say this app has saved me time, because most of my time on YouTube can be considered totally wasted to be honest but it does save me from wasting my time watching ads for products I have no intention of buying. So, Tubula is for when you want more choice over how to waste your time. This next recommendation is actually a group of apps, and they're kind of boring, but that's the point. I've got the calculator, the SMS, and the voice recorder apps installed on my phone. But as you can see, there are Fossify apps to replace essentially every basic smartphone app out there. They're simple, stable, customizable, and they look really good too. As much as I don't mind an app looking slightly janky if it works, I would rather it also had a thoughtful and consistent design language. Honestly, these should be the stock apps on every single Android device going forward. They are absolutely solid and I can't fault them. Except for maybe the Notes app. That one looks a bit weird to me. Which is why I use this app, Notally X. It's a Notes app. I don't know what you want me to say about it. The design is very reminiscent of Google Keep. You can create notes, checklists, import pictures and recordings. You can tag with labels. Look, I, I don't need a complicated notes app on my phone. I consider this a catch-all for everyday life, and anything that is really important will then get transferred onto my laptop. So this app gets the job done. Anyway, here's another boring but important app. This time though, it's for musicians. This is the most lightweight tuning app that I've found, but somehow it's also the most feature rich. I pretty much just set it and forget it, but you can get super granular with this from changing the reference frequency, which is really useful for Baroque musicians or playing along with recordings that aren't quite tuned to 440 hertz. You can even change the temperament for instruments that don't use equal temperament. This is highly specialized stuff, but it's all here and it's less than three megabytes. I don't know how they did it. Not only that, it's completely free, completely open source. So if you're using one from the Play Store, just remove it right away and install this one instead. It's much better. And there we have it. That was six amazing Android apps that I use every single day. Oh, look at that. All of them happen to be free and open source.